Hi everyone, this is Charmaine and today I'm very excited to share with you about my process in terms of research and brainstorming for ideas. Of course, I use ChatGBT, but when I want a little bit more of a data-backed content idea, I use a platform called Answer the Public. And I want to share this amazing tool with you today. If you create a free account, there are benefits to it and I will share with you a little bit more. The free account allows you to do three searches a day but it has a track record of certain keywords that you have done. And if it is outdated, for example, you can see here, eight, five, uh, one month, etc. you should do an update. And they do show you the sources now. Last time, they do not show you the sources. But right now, I'm doing a little bit of research and that is Link3. Okay, I'm trying to think to myself, are people thinking about Link3 contents? And you can do Singapore. I prefer to do Singapore. But if you want volume, you could change this result to USA. And you can see I have three of three free searches today because I haven't done any searches today on this account. All right, if you have different Gmail accounts, it actually allows you to do different searches now. But sometimes they track you by IP and they'll tell you that you have maxed out. When you do a search for a keyword, one to two words. Typically, once you do two words, there is very very little results try to use one keyword that will give you the most volume there are many results but i usually pay attention to three sets of results the first set of results you can see here are questions the second set of results are prepositions the third is comparison and the rest i usually don't pay attention to them uh, the reason is this when you go on google and search engines such as uh, bing or YouTube, YouTube is actually considered the second largest search engine. It is actually right after Google and Google owns YouTube. And that is why when you search for a question, when you search a question on uh, Google, you would see video results sometimes. Usually it's quite fast. Okay, so something might be wrong here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do answer public again. And I'm going to do uh, this word on, say, Instagram. It might also be that the server has a heavy load and therefore the uh, server is loading uh, slower. Okay, so you can see here, two out of three, they did capture my search, which is link three. So I can actually click on it to view the results, but I just want to... Okay, if you want volume, you should uh, do United States. Okay, or... If you prefer, you can do a UK as well because the spelling for the questions with the UK results is uh, more aligned. Okay, it's out. So here you go. There are three sets of results, questions, prepositions, comparisons. And typically I pay attention to questions because when people search, when you search, when if you pay attention to how you search, you typically ask a question on Google and YouTube. Okay, like how to do this, how to design on Canva, how does Link3 work, what is Instagram marketing is a question, right? So you can see here that they give you a kind of an insight where this is a monthly insight and it's estimated. It's not, it's like rounded up or down, okay? So there is about 30 million search volume on this keyword Instagram. I could have been more specific to say Instagram marketing, but that would have limited the way that the question is given to me. You can see here there are many results. Usually I just pay attention to the darker orange. People are still asking who created Instagram, all right? Sometimes the English and the wording is... A bit off because that's how people search. I would like to formulate the question a little bit more proper. These are questions that people are asking and I can answer them. And typically, if I answer these questions, how Instagram works, my video will tend to do better. This is a small tip for two main reasons why we want to use Answer the Public. Because if you are creating contents for social media, there is less people searching for contents on platforms such as Instagram. We do search through hashtags or through locations to find out things to visit or to eat. But the majority of us are still searching on Google, Bing, and YouTube. There are some people who say that they do search on TikTok. I would think that it is very minimal. Okay, but 30 million for this keyword is high volume. All right, the next thing that I usually pay attention to is questions, prepositions, and comparisons. Now, two big reasons why we want to use Answer the Public to do research. Number one, if you run out of ideas, go to Answer the Public. Some people say, I have a lot of ideas. Then the next question is, 
are you able to validate that these are things that people are asking about? Questions, are this content, things that people, your audiences, your, cust your potential customers are actually thinking and searching about? The first reason is brainstorming, ideation. The second reason is actually validation. So what I like to do is to pay attention to the dark orange results. Okay, Usually I try not to pay attention to the last two, but if it's a good question, like I look at the question and I like it, I would actually shortlist it. So on the free plan, they actually don't allow you to uh, download the CSV version right now, but you could download the, um, you can see here, upgrade to export all keywords. I'm just going to download the free version and they give me a selected few uh, results. So they don't give me the 150 keywords now on the free plan. Personally, I am a very visual person. I prefer to download the image results. So if you want a high resolution version, you, can, you have to upgrade to the pro. But I'm just going to let them generate. Once this word change, it will download automatically for me. Okay, now it's in my downloads folder. Okay. If you don't see it, you can click download, but usually uh, it automatically downloads unless you have been blocking certain websites from downloading files into your computer. Answer the public, great resource for content ideas. If you can't remember how to use it, this is a video resource for you. I hope that this video has been helpful. If you have any questions at all, uh, let me know in the comments, but I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And if you're curious in digital marketing, it's a digital marketing bootcamp. So check that out. We have our new website uh, launched. We just launched a few months ago, I think in April. So what we hope to share with you is uh, we have been updating our programs and now we have decided to kind of put our workshop together as a boot camp. Five things that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about SEO. We're going to talk about SEM strategy. We're going to talk about your social media strategy. More importantly, on Instagram, Meta, but we are paying attention to Instagram and meta advertising means your ads will go to Instagram and Facebook. The fourth thing we're going to talk about is how you can generate leads for yourself and how you should do email marketing. Okay, lead generation, we talk about landing pages as well. So five things over five days. If you're interested, write into us. Happy to um, get in touch with you on your inquiry and definitely, definitely look forward to hearing from you and look forward to seeing you in my next video.